What is up you guys, Master Coys View here and today we're taking a look at the brand new 2020 Chevrolet Blazer. Alright, so the Blazer is offered in 6 trim levels made up of L, 1, 2 and 3 LT, RS and Premier with a base price of $28,800 from factory. In Lebanon, the starting price is $41,500 for the 1 LT trim and the 2 LT we have today is $48,500. Expect over 60 grand for the sportier RS model. Now, first impressions in the interior of the 2020 Chevy Blazer. First of all, it's very nicely laid out. Uh, you have an 8 inch touchscreen in the center, which is standard on all trim levels, which is a nice feature to have. But looking at the steering wheel, I wasn't too sure about the four spoke design in pictures. But you know, seeing it live with the nice chrome accents over here, it's kind of really cool and it's all leather wrapped, also standard on all the ranges. We have leather wrapped steering wheel. And then you know, it's a very spacious cabin. The eight pillars are a bit chunky, but I don't think they're annoying, you know, when when on the road. Now we have the V6 engine in this car. You have this controller to go between front wheel drive uh, to all wheel drive and other uh, driving modes. So there's that. Let me show you a brief uh, look of the interior and let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. The Blazer is one of those SUVs that offer a lot of standard equipment that you'll be satisfied with. You can of course spice it up by going up the trim ladder, which adds luxury features as you go up. The small analog gauges can be upgraded to a more modern digital instrument cluster for instance and the cloth seats, which I personally recommend, can be switched for leather. There are also a lot of cool options you can get such as a hands-free power liftgate, a panoramic sunroof, a rear view camera, heated seats for front and back, a bird's eye surround vision and an eliminated bowtie emblem. The Blazer RS gets the same interior design but with added red accents and a wide range of standard options including wireless phone charging and navigation. The infotainment system is quick and easy to use and offers Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, with two USB ports in between the large air vents. The interior has a very minimalistic feel that will appeal to many. Practicality is a strong point for the Blazer with 863 liters of cargo space, which expands to a massive 1,818 liters with folded rear seats. You can also recline and slide the back seats for more cargo space or passenger legroom. Chevy offers three engine options for its new Blazer, all of which are paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission. Here in Lebanon, we only get the 2.0-liter Turbo 4 and 3.6-liter V6 that we have on our car. Power outputs go as follows. The Blazer is definitely a good-looking SUV, which you wouldn't always say about Chevy vehicles. It did, however, upset some people, this decision of naming this particular car the Blazer, which doesn't seem to share much with its ancestor, should you say. I personally don't like judging a car simply by the badge on its tailgate, just because it's used differently. The same thing goes for the new Mustang Mach-E. I mean, it's a shame to let a simple name, fueled by marketing strategies, overshadow an otherwise impressive car. I do agree that Chevy should bring back a body on frame 4x4 vehicle, but for now, that's what we get. A sporty and aggressive look has always been a desirable asset of a vehicle, and more so lately on SUVs, and the designers at Chevrolet went all in with that mindset. Even in this bland looking silver, the blazer looks sharp, and thanks to this paint, you can admire each and every crease of the design. It's mainly due to the LED daytime running lights that seem to merge with the chrome and onto their large grille, and the choice of putting HID headlamps on either sides of the lower front bumper. Note that Chevy has added an LED option for the headlights this year. The rear doesn't betray the look of the front, with 3D fin shaped taillights and a black spoiler that's shared across all blazer models including the RS. The latter wears a sportier grille with black accents and a black emblem, and the cheap plastic found on ours is traded for this glossy black finish. Alright, so we're gonna go for a short test drive around the block in the new Blazer. Uh, as I've told you, we have the V6 engine in this. We're gonna keep it in two wheel drive, front wheel drive uh, for now, because it's gonna be in the city. We have a beautiful weather today in Lebanon, so it's gonna be cool. Now, you can directly notice that the Blazer is actually a big vehicle on the road. You have a very high riding position, uh, which I quite like, honestly. Let me keep that air conditioning going. Visibility, let me just check out. Rear visibility is actually really good. I have to say, side visibility also. Um, remember when I told you about the eight pillars? Well, they're a bit chunky, uh, I'm not gonna lie, but I mean, nothing too annoying. I mean, just uh, tilt your head and you're all fine. And then here we go. Wow, wow, very precise uh, response for the throttle and it gets going very quickly and nicely. I mean, it, it's a very smooth car, it's big, it's wide, it, it's looking good. Very cool, we have the Beirut Museum over here, I've never visited this. We should be coming to that soon. 
Okay, so guys, that's it basically for the test drive. First impressions. Uh, I'll see how I'm gonna end the video. Uh, catch you guys later. The V6 engine fitted in our car has been used by Chevy for a while now due to its solid and responsive output. The 1.93 ton chassis accelerates smoothly to 100 km an hour in 6.3 seconds and sounds impressively well while doing so. You definitely feel the weight of the blazer, especially when braking, yet the brakes are grabby and powerful. Fuel economy in our top spec all wheel drive V6 isn't the best at 21 miles per gallon combined and the front wheel drive turbo 4 that's said to be the most efficient delivers 23 miles to the gallon. As with most American vehicles, the Blazer offers a smooth and comfortable ride and I can honestly see myself going on long journeys in the Blazer, with no problem. One thing that you can't but notice is the placement of a rocker switch on the gear lever to change gears, and which to my opinion is a little off. I mean, Chevy is always trying to put its manual shifting capability in different forms and weird places which aren't as intuitive as having paddle shifters on the steering wheel. The 2020 Chevy Blazer is a great package and everything you expect from a mid-sized luxury SUV is offered nicely in there. It's got head-turning looks, a pleasant interior, a punchy engine and plenty of in-cabin space for a large family. With SUVs being the top-selling vehicles, there's a huge choice for you to spend money on, but what you eventually go for is what you find yourself more attracted to drive every day. The Blazer is here to prove that daily drivers don't have to be bland and boring to look at. It's the coolest of its siblings and this blend of sportiness and luxury will definitely appeal to many. Despite Chevy not holding on to what the Blazer previously represented, this commercial technique seems to do the trick and I would much appreciate seeing more of this styling on future SUVs from GM. So guys, that's it for today. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to check out the pictures of the Blazer on our website mastercarsreview.com. Till then, take care everybody. See you soon.